So hey everybody, John Bergsme here with the Fisherman's Digest Hot Bite Fishing Report for this week. And we're getting here towards a little bit more towards the end of August and uh, the silverfish fishing is gonna dominate this fishing report. It has been awesome all the way up and down the shoreline from Holland all the way north up to Frankfurt. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna talk about silverfish fishing. We're also gonna touch just a little bit on some really good fishing that's still happening over out of Lorraine and uh, the Port Clinton area for the Erie Shores and Islands all the way basically to Cleveland. Fishing over there on Lake Erie has been really good. We're gonna bounce up and just talk about the just past weekend, they had the big NWT tournament in Sault Ste. Marie, and that basically covers our whole spectrum all the way from Sault Ste. Marie down through the St. Mary's system on and Drummond Island. So stay tuned, we've got a lot of different things we're gonna talk about on today's show here on the Hot Bites Fishing Report. First stop today, we're gonna we're here at Captain Chuck's in Ludington, and we're gonna talk about the Ludington to Manistee fishing. Really, this whole shoreline, basically, even you could throw Muskegon, Grand Haven, and Holland into that. What you've got going on right now is the late summer staging of Big Kings out in front of these port towns that have river mouth access, and you have got a really great bite going on now. The winds are shifting a little bit. We had real stable southwest winds for quite a while. Now we had a couple of days of a north blow. It's going to swing back around to southwest, so you got to pay a little bit of an attention to where the cold water is. Have your fish hawk down. Make sure you're trying to find that temperature break. But right now, the basic word is that the kings are just right there in the area getting ready and also already pushing up into the river. We had Captain Ryan Bullard from here in Ludington tell me that there's already been one good push of kings up here at the Pier Marquette. I know that's happening up at Manistee. I know that it's happening down in the Kalamazoo and Muskegon River as well. So it's early, but you'll always have that early season push of kings. So how are the guys catching the fish? Well, right now for Ludington to Manistee, we'll call this report, they've been going out really well on a variety of things. Basically, I would say the plug bite is really getting going right now. The meat bite has been going, and you can always put flies out there and catch fish. It seems like here, Ludington to Manistee, the ticket has been a lot of stuff in greens or blues. So if you were running out, like for example, I fished last week here out of Ludington and Manistee, I was pulling like uh, uh, an action fly of uh, green crinkle or uh, pickled sunshine or liquid sunshine. Those three were really good baits for me, both in meat rigs and flies. Uh, I was using, uh, standing right behind me here, I can just point a couple things out. Green and chrome spin doctor, this one was really good. I know we had another one that was really hot and that was the blue and chrome. This one right here, these two spin doctors, it seems like when we had blues or greens out, we were catching a lot of fish. So it's really color dependent right now based on the water and also uh, the speed that you're going. But it seems to me like the, green, the chromes, the greens, the blues have been the best biting. Uh, when you're running plugs, you know, whether you're running a captain's choice or something else, double glows have been good stuff with rattles in it, uh, stuff with um, uh, kind of more of a natural looking bait, more of a ghost or a pearl. That seems to be the best in the plug baits. And guys are just getting started running plugs and those will go all the way through as these kings are coming through. They're a little bit more apt to hit a plug than they are earlier in the year. So right now, out in front of the pier heads in Manistee and Ludington, bite is awesome. Get up here, you've really got this limited window here for the next couple weeks to really take advantage of what is an awesome bite. Here's our RH1 adjustable rod holder. This is one of our most versatile rod holders for the money. All machined aluminum knuckles right here. There is a hub in the middle of this. So one of the most important things that everybody kind of struggles with on here is getting this rod holder to adjust. But it has a lot of positions and it's very easy to work with once you grasp it. So you actually have to pull out at the very bottom of this rod holder to get the adjustability out of it. And if you pull out to the side nice and easy, you will get all the adjustment you want. It works just perfect. And that adjust 
up and down that way, it will come all the way back inside the boat. So if you had to have a rod holder to worry about putting a cover on, it really helps in that aspect. And we have all of our teeth machined in the bottom. So we can rotate this around 360 degrees. I can fish off the back of the boat on here and run a bottom bouncer if I wanted to. I can fish it straight off the side of this boat and I could run a dipsy diver out of here. That's how strong this setup is. So very, very versatile for the money on it and the strength. Um, the RH1 rod holder. Check us out, TraxTech.com. So we're gonna drop down and do a report in South Michigan there from Holland, how that basically Holland Grand Haven area has got the same type of situation going on that we talked about here up in Ludington and Manistee. You've got a lot of big kings that are just starting to really load up in the shallows, 90 to 120 feet. I know we've got a great report from Captain Mark Rapson of Black Pearl Sport Fishing out of Holland. If you jump to our website, fishermansdigest.com, he gives you a really detailed report of exactly how he's catching his fish. Same type of thing, spin doctors and flies, spin doctors and meat, a splash of plugs, and really staying pretty much reactive to the wind and to the water temperature. Use your fish hawk. Right now, it seems like you do not have to go far from the, from the Holland Pier Head or Grand, out in front of Grand Haven and Muskegon in front of the Muskegon River. It seems like there's a lot of good fish holed up in that area. Guys are catching some train wrecks. I mean, really big fish going on right now. I caught four over 23 last week. I know guys are catching them in the mid-20s. I saw one even here. Uh, Locally here that was caught, that was 32 up in Muskegon. So those are some really big fish. So hook up with a local charter captain. These guys have had a great season out on the lake, but right now, pretty much any charter that knows his stuff can get you out on the water and get you into some rod wrecking fish here in Holland all the way up to Muskegon. You know, today's anglers need a ton of battery power to run all the accessories we're running, big electronics, 36 volt trolling motors, and crank up our big engines. I'm Captain Lance Valentine. Let me show you the battery storage of my Polarcraft Kodiak. In the back, the stern of the boat, we've got a place for two batteries, for an accessory battery and a cranking battery, plus an oil tank or a water, fuel water separator. And underneath the rod locker, we have a spot to put three 31 series batteries to run our 36 volt trolling motor. Don't be caught short of power. Check out these features and everything else that the Polarcraft Kodiak has to offer at your local Polarcraft dealer. So next report takes you to Lake Erie and it's a really good report. We've had some really super solid fishing going on. Captain Nick Dode from Real Live Action Charters has been taking the trip from Granville, Michigan down and fishing out of Lorraine on the weekends, on his days off and on the weekends. And if you're looking for some really hot, really nice size fish, we're talking three and a half to six pound fish. Nothing, no, none of the 15 to 20 inches, more 22 to 26 is they're happening right now out of the port of Vermilion, Huron, Vermilion and Lorraine. And I would say Vermilion and Lorraine are the two right there that really jump out at me as to having really great fishing. Now the fish aren't too terrible far offshore. They're out in 50 to 55 feet of water in Vermilion. And out in Lorraine, it seems like they're more 50, 52 to 65, Captain Gary Zart down there. And that's what I was gonna mention to you. You've got two of the best charter captains on the lake. Nick Dode fishing out of, out of, uh, out of Vermilion on the weekends right now. And Captain Gary Zart, our friend Gary, Gary and Nicholas Zart out of Blue Dolphin, they're based out of Lorraine. And those two ports right now are surefire limits. I mean, if you get reasonable weather, you are gonna catch limits with those two guys. And uh, I know that they're coming up towards the fall brawl, so their schedules are really gonna get tight because they get really heavy action. But if you're looking to get a nice limit of fish, fill your freezer up with some really good walleye here at the end of the summer season and before the cold weather hits, call those two guys plan on an overnight stay, head on over to the Erie Shores and Islands if you're gonna be out of Vermilion and over to the area, the Lorraine area and the city of Lorraine's got some good accommodations for you. Get a room the night before, hook up, get out there in the morning. These guys will take you out, they'll catch fish. If you're heading down with your own boat, go to fishermansdigest.com, find the city, click on fishing reports, find the city of Huron to Vermilion or Lorraine and you'll have two separate reports 
telling you exactly how these guys are catching the fish right now so you can go and do it in your boat. Hey, get down to Lake Erie, the fishing's hot. Hey, are you in the market for a small outdoor shed, carport, or small storage building? Visit my friends up at Midwest Steel Carports. They'll travel anywhere in the Lower Peninsula to install your shed or carport for you. Visit them online at MidwestSteelCarports.com. Hey, last report of the day, we're gonna to touch two of our partner regions, and it really makes sense because last week we had the big national walleye tour uh, stop out of the Sault Ste. Marie area, and we were kind of watching those weights come in, and I was surprised there was some really good, consistent weights all the way down the board, guys catching fish. So we're gonna start up with the third place finisher, which is a friend of mine, Steve Vandermark, who filmed the show with me out of Saginaw Bay last year. He caught his fish very close to the launch site, so he was in the river and in the bay side, bays on the sides of the river, pulling snap weights and spinners, and then he would also drop and do a little bit of casting or jigging in the river channel. So Steve did a great job of identifying resident walleyes that are right there in the upper St. Mary's system and cashed in on those. Now, most of the field concentrated their efforts down in the Manuskong Bay area and south, fishing, fishing in that detour passage area, pulling cranks or spinners over the gravel humps that are present in that area. Now that's another really great presentation for the late summer and early fall. A lot of you guys who are looking for, hey, what do I do in September and October? I'm putting this on your radar right now. Sault Ste. Marie to Drummond Island, that stretch of the St. Mary's, the best bite of the year happens in September, October, and basically until you can't stand the cold anymore. Captain Dane Stanaway from Live to Fish Charters and I have filmed a couple of segments there in late October and early November. So it's not that the fish quit biting, in fact, they get bigger as the season progresses. So this is really just the start of the good walleye season. There's also an awesome musky fishing uh, season that goes on. So if you're basing yourself out of Sault Ste. Marie, you've got a couple of options for guides that know what's going on. And not to mention the pink salmon run. We'll be back in a couple of weeks to again in Sault Ste. Marie to talk to you about pink salmon. So you got Ken Smajinski from up there uh, in real and time charters, and you got live to fish charters, Captain Dane Stanaway. Both of those guys are competent around the river. Both of them live in Sault Ste. Marie. They know what's going on. They'll put you on the water. You'll have a great day. If you're down in the Drummond Island area, you've got a couple of options there. You've Captain John Goble, who lives and bases himself right out of Drummond Island, and you've got Justin Justin Bupp as well, who are fishing that Drummond Island detour passage area. And so there's some really good options. Now again, we mentioned the pink salmon. We aren't going to talk about it a bunch today because they're still out in the lake out in front of Presque Isle and Roger City. But they're going to be headed this way soon. And when they hit that detour passage, that can be some of the fastest fishing out there. But right now, Sault Ste. Marie to Drummond Island, you've got great walleye fishing coming and going forward, and you're gonna have some awesome pink salmon fishing as well as some kick, kick, kick butt musky fishing later in the season that we'll be talking to you about. Are you in the market for a new trailer? For all your trailer needs, big or small, visit Beck's Trailer Superstore on Highway 127, north of St. John's. Well, hey, thanks for joining us on this week's Hot Bite Fishing Report. We kind of did some bigger stuff this time, and rather than talk about just a specific community, we kind of talked about some area fishing, because to be honest, at this time of year, as fish transition and move and change, that's kind of how fishing is. Those fish will flow back and forth, and they'll kind of be in areas. So we don't want to just stay too specific. We want to give you guys options. We also want to encourage you to go to the website, fishermansdigest.com, click on the fishing reports, and you can scroll down and choose the fishing reports. Now, understand not every area has a fishing report each week. We call it the Hot Bites Fishing Report for a reason, because we really concentrate on what is really happening that's really, really good right now, and that may not hold for more than a week or two, so we want to tell people about that. So. Uh, 
listening to this report is helpful. If you can go to the community that corresponds to this report, that's where you're going to find the most recent and the most in-depth Hot Bites report. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on the Hot Bite Fishing Report.